So here we have the Hyundai i10 on a 16 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the boot, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space given the size of the car and a 60-40 split folding rear seat so that you can increase that space further should you want to. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in fantastic condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's what we've seen the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, we have the speedometer in the middle, and on the right-hand side, the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauges. At the bottom in the middle, you can see the total miles of this car, which is 12,083, so very low mileage for the car's age. And above that, we have the trip computer. You can change and reset the information that's displayed there using buttons on the steering wheel, just here. Uh, above that, we have stereo controls, which are continued on the left-hand side. Then we have phone controls beneath that, including voice activation. You can't use the phone controls until such time as you paired the phone up. And that is done over on the stereo in the center here. Just hit the phone button and then use the corresponding numbers to select what it is you want to do. We're gonna cancel that for this uh, moment in time. When it comes to music, we have the radio. So we have FM and AM radio, as you can see. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. You can do that via the CD player. This car's also got auxiliary and USB inputs as well. So plenty of ways to listen to your music. And the main volume for the stereo is just there. This media button is what will access those different types of music if you have things connected or inserted. Below that, we have the climate control. So you can adjust the temperature, the fan speed, you can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. When you're happy with those settings, this button turns the air conditioning off in this case, or back on again, or you can hit auto. When you do that, the car will take control of the direction of the air and the fan speed to maintain this temperature. You can hear it doing that now. To override it, simply readjust the fans, put it back on whatever setting you want it on here as well. We have heated driver and passenger seats, both with three different heat settings on each. This cubby hole section opens up to reveal the uh, 12 volt charging socket, auxiliary and USB inputs. We then have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.